Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. When monochromatic light is incident on a single slit, a diffraction pattern forms on a screen. That is obvious. The width of the slit is decreased. What are the changes in the width and in the intensity of the central maxima of the diffraction pattern? My dear students, first of all, we must know what is the formula for the width of the central maxima of the diffraction pattern. And I'm going to tell you here that, okay, let us say this is the uh, screen and uh, a diffraction pattern is coming here. Like this. This is the diffraction pattern and this is the central point. This angle is theta. So theta is taken as lambda divided by B. And there is N, of course, there uh, in the numerator, but that N becomes equal to one. And accordingly, we can say Y. Y is N lambda divided by P into capital D, where uh, this is the slit. So capital D is the distance between the slit and the screen. And B is the width of the slit. So this is what is happening. And accordingly, we can see that lambda capital D divided by small b is the half of uh, is the half of the width that we are talking about. So the width that this question is talking about is equal to n will be taken as one because we are consider uh, concerned with the uh, the first dark fringe, like that is this point. Okay, so it will be lambda divided by b into capital D multiplied by two. So you have this formula for you. So this is the width of the central maxima. And now we want to comment on this. And they say that the width of the slit is decreased. Now, what is the width of the slit? B. So if B is reduced, what is happening to the maxima? First of all, if we're talking about intensity, obviously, if the window is smaller now, there is less amount of energy that is now concentrating at one single point, it only means that overall the intensity will decrease. So intensity is definitely going to decrease. There is no doubt about it. And the only reason for that is because it is a smaller window and so lesser light is able to pass through it. Number one. Next is the width of the central maxima. As you can see that B is in the denominator. So if B reduces as per the question it decreases, obviously the width is going to increase. And hence, B will be the correct answer. And let us verify from the mark scheme. And yes, the answer is B. So my dear students, this is how we do it. In many other videos, I have given you um, even better and detailed explanation of uh, how to approach the diffraction questions. So you, you people can refer to those questions also. Apart from that, this is, I believe, done well. So my dear students, all the best. Bye.